This is why a non-addict will never understand an addict. Case in point, EastEnders at the moment, how they're all getting on Linda, like, you need to pick, pull yourself together. I mean, uh, excuse me, who are they? Like, Stacey, who's been, like, with every bloke under the sun and has got loads of mental issues and she couldn't control it. She went completely crazy and lost the plot. Linda might be having that sort of moment now. It might have happened to her later in life, but none of them can talk. And, like, she's an alcoholic. Like, it literally, like, people need to understand this. When you wake up in the morning and you have your coffee, say, to wake you up, or you have your shower that wakes you up, or you brush your teeth, or you have your breakfast, or you have whatever, you have sex, I don't know, like, whatever is your thing that keeps you going has gone in us. Like, we literally need that thing, unless you're, like, properly recovered, to get through the day and even then like because I was, i'm on medication there's still that habitual behavior so you can't even though i know it's a soap opera you can't just cut a behavior like that especially if you can get seizures from coming off alcohol you can die off coming the two things you can die coming off are benzos and alcohol I've just done a benzo withdrawal, was hell, absolute hell, I already feel really, like, not great about myself for a while, it's getting better, but you just can't comprehend, like, your thoughts, they get so dark, and if you haven't gone through something, you, you simply just do not get it, like, me with obesity, I didn't understand it, before I went through it, I have just thought, oh, you fat fuck, you just sit around eating all day, and that's the problem, and then you go through it, and then your karma comes. So if you have heavy Capricorn or Scorpio influences in your chart, you're going to feel that throughout your life. Like, it's going to keep coming, but you're going to keep transforming in different ways. Like, Pluto's very, like, darker energy. Saturn's like, oh, I've got to strive to be better. Not so much, like, evolution with Scorpio, where they come out of the skin, turn them caterpillar and turn into a butterfly and fly off and say if you've got Pluto in the first house or the 12th house or a house that's very significant or it's a dominant planet like for example I've got Sun dominant and Pluto the two opposite ends of the spectrum so it literally goes from that sunny bright sided ego to that dark side of hell like the dark side of the moon I've started to call it now but um I think they're being a bit harsh on Linda, and Linda's like my hero in EastEnders now. I do. She's one of my favourite characters.